Testing microphone, testing microphone. All right, how do I look in this Hawaii shirt? I know it's gonna be hard to take me seriously. Uh, it's hard to take anyone seriously in a Hawaii shirt, to be honest. But um, today, we're gonna do episode four of Honest Conversations with Sean, where I talk about life, feelings, issues, everything, right? Um, so yeah, let's start the timer, and then we got an exciting topic to talk about today. Uh, 10 minute timer starting now. And yeah, today's topic is one that I've wanted to talk about for a while now. Today's topic is about seasons of life. What do I mean by seasons of life? Well, this term came to my mind after watching Alex Hormozzi. He is a very famous entrepreneur on the internet and he does a lot of amazing entrepreneur um, education. And one of the things he said is that in life, there are seasons, right? And specifically, there are seasons of earning and seasons of learning. And what he means by that is that there are points in your life where you just need to focus on the learning aspect, right? There's parts in your life, just learn. Whatever you do, just be a sponge. Like I said before, episode one or two, you're just supposed to learn. Don't care about the money yet. I understand money is a concern, but if you have the financial stability and ability to just learn for a moment, do that. On the other side, there's the seasons of earning. That, I believe, comes after the learning aspect where you have all this knowledge and you're like, okay, now I'm ready to monetize. Now I'm ready to monetize this part or this skill set that I have, right? And that comes in the earning season. So the reason I bring this up is because he says that a lot of young people make this mistake of trying to earn too soon in their life. And I've been a victim of that personally. I have withdrew or blocked myself from opportunities that aren't financially appetizing or like financially good. Like it's like maybe very low pay. But the opportunities to learn from that experience are huge. And I really regret that. I really wish I just took the money out of the factor, out of the consideration, and just thought about all the learning I can get from it, right? I believe right now as a 20 year old, uh, 23 year old freelance photographer, I haven't even begun my career. I have literally just started. Yeah, even though I've been doing it for four years, I feel like I've just started. And currently I am in the learning season of my life. I wanna do everything I can to learn the most. Whether it be aligned with photography or not, I don't really care. I just wanna learn everything. Cause I believe that you never know when snippets of knowledge will really benefit you. And subconsciously I know that there's a lot of stuff that is benefiting me, but that's not directly from photography, right? So I'm in the season of learning which means that I'm putting myself in situations where it might not be the most financially appropriate one, but I know that this season of learning is a good investment for myself, for my future. Because with this knowledge, it stays with you. It's not like you learn something and you're gonna like, forget about it. You know what I mean? It's not like you're, it's, it's gonna leave your body in two days. You know, it's not like you're studying for a test in university. These kind of knowledge that you really seek to get they really stick with you because it's what you're interested in, right? So that's, that's my current situation. And I believe that maybe in like 10 to 20 years, that's when I'll start doing the earning aspect of it. I think that's why I really start to be like, okay, I have all my skills, right? I have these skills, I have these networks. Maybe let's start and try to build momentum and build like this financial system that can sustain itself. Right? Once I have all this capital, all these resources, it's easier to build something that earns money. You know what I mean? So yeah, that would be in later in the future, like 10 to 20 years down the line. And I think the seasons of life really applies to everything. Not, not even seasons of life, but whenever you do something new, like YouTube, what I'm doing right now, I'm just starting out. I'm not trying to monetize my channel. Like if I'm doing it for the money, it's gonna feel like a job, right? I know I wanna make money from YouTube, but I wanna make it in my own way. I wanna make it that 
it feels I'm happy to see all the videos I produced and that's my library of videos. And if I get money from it, that's not bad, right? So seasons of learning, you gotta focus on the learning. All the 20 year olds out there who are doing freelance stuff or you know, maybe 30, 40 years old, if you're just starting a new career, I'm not trying to give job advice to anyone. I'm just saying, just try to learn first before you earn. And don't think money is the end all be all. Like if you really need money, maybe just try to work another job, right? Uh, maybe just find someone who can look after you for just a little while, just while you learn, right? Because when you start learning, when you gather all these skill sets, the earning is going to come way faster because you will know all this stuff that you need to know to make a good business, right? I think there's nothing much more I can say about it in this sense. I mean, this is all that I have from my perspective now, but 2024 is my, I'm doubling down on season of learning. I think 2023 I've done, blocked too many people out because I thought the money was not enough. Um, and it's something that we, I do regret doing. I can't think of any specific occasions, but yeah, I, I wish for this year that big opportunities come up. Um, obviously I get paid fairly uh, and not being taken advantage of, but at the same time, if they don't match, you know, the rate that I give, you know, have some leeway, have some sympathy for them. And because I'm doing it because I know I can learn from this experience, right? Yeah, well, that felt better saying it out loud now that you guys can hear it. Um, yeah, I think, let me know what season are you in right now? Are you in seasons of learning, seasons of earning? How do you navigate those? Did you ever think that was, there was this kind of two differentiation parts of life? I think once you have this mindset, it kind of frees you up to do a lot of stuff. It frees you up to explore the opportunities and or it focuses you in on something, right? Yeah, I, I definitely have a few friends who I know uh, they are in their own seasons of learning and or earning. And I think that's wonderful for them. I think it really matters that we understand where our friends are, where other people's are. So we're not, you know, we can help them the best way we can. And yeah, I mean, I'm excited. I'm excited for 2024. YouTube is one of these things that I want to double down on because I want to learn. I want to learn how to talk to the camera. I want to learn how to build this community. And if you're with me, just comment down below. I want to know who's watching this kind of stuff. I know it's a long 10 minute talk, but I think it's valuable just to listen to people and just to understand what kind of perspectives they have. Yeah. And also like, dude, if you don't want to watch this video, just listen to it on the side. I think I kind of want to make it like a podcast. Um, just for you guys to understand. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I, I felt good saying that. I think it's, it's been a good four episodes now so far and I don't know if I mean I got 15 views first one 18 views on the second one so it's not like a whole big audience but if you just imagine 15 people in front of me listening to what I say then it's like it's like a lot right so yeah thank you for anyone that's supporting me uh, I'm just really grateful to do this I'm really grateful to have the time the money, the, the, uh, the, the effort to able to create such videos for you guys. Cause I think at the end of the day, when I look back, it'd be like this moment right here, we're exchanging right now, this moment between you and between me. That's right here. It's not coming back. It is not coming back. This is the moment we have to ourselves. And this is the moment we should cherish. Well, getting very philosophical. Yeah. That's a lot of talking. Yeah, no cuts though in this video. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. I mean, is there any topics you guys wanna talk about? Like, just let me know in the comments. Interact with me. I am here, I am on the other side of your screen. 
Talk to me so I can talk to you, right? Yeah. I keep saying, yeah, fuck. I'm so sorry, guys. But yeah, so seasons of learning, seasons of earning. I'm excited. This is a season of learning for me. I'll probably do it for another five years until at least I'm 30. Until then, then I would be like, yeah, now we can start earning. <laughs> Maybe I'll be homeless by then, um, but uh, I'll be a homeless guy with a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom, and a lot of experience. That is important to think of. Wow, why is this 10 minutes taking so long? Okay, we got 20 seconds left. 20 seconds to talk about life. Talk to me. What is it that you are learning right now? What is it you're trying to learn, trying to experience? And with that skill, what are you trying to earn? Like, is there a goal you're setting for yourself? What is it? When do you tell yourself it's the earning season? That's something I'm asking myself too. When do I know I need to start earning? But anyway, 10 minutes is up. Thank you for episode four of Honest Conversations with Sean. Let's go.